In the past couple of videos, we learned about how to build a GraphQL server using Node.js, Apollo server, and Prisma DB. In this video specifically, we're gonna take a look at how to add a publish and subscribe feature to our application. And if we look at the diagram here, you can see that we have a create link. So every time when we send a mutation to create a link to our GraphQL server, we're going to have a subscriber who subscribe to any new link that are created and fetch the new link data back to our response. Then we're going to take a look at how to extend our application functionality by adding a vote feature. At this current moment, we have user and the link table. So user can have many links and each link can only have one user. However, if we're going to introduce the vote feature, then each user can have many votes and each link can have many votes as well. So it's basically gonna be a many-to-many -many relationship using the vote table. Then we're going to add the subscription to the vote feature as well. So every time when there's a new vote created, we're going to have a subscriber who subscribe to any new votes that are created. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to add the pub sub from the Apollo server, and then we're going to create an instance of the pub sub. And then we're going to pass the pub sub to our context so that all the resolvers can be able to use it. And then inside of the schema.graphql, we're going to add the subscription. In this case, we're going to say new link, and this will return a type link. And basically what we're trying to implement here is every time when we try to add a new link, we're going to have a subscription which subscribe to that. So here inside of the source uh, resolvers, we're going to have a new file called subscription.js. And then inside of the subscription.js, you can see here we have the new link uh, which have the subscribe and the resolve property. So the subscribe basically handle how clients subscribe to our events. And then for the resolve, we basically handles the event payload before we send to the client. And then for the new link subscribe, you can see that we have the event identifier. So when this event identifier is published and this subscription will be notified. And then once we create the subscription, we're going to come to the mutation so that every time when we create a new link, we're going to publish this new event to any subscribers who subscribe to this event. In this case, the event identifier is the same as what we defined here. Then inside of the resolver.js, what we're gonna do is we're going to import the subscription and then we're going to add this to the resolvers. To test it out, we're going to first start our server and then we're going to first create our user. So once we have our user created, we're going to copy the token and then we're going to go to the new link. In this case, we're going to subscribe to this new link so every time when a new link created, we're going to get a new event published on the right side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first listen to that. And here on this tab, we're going to first create a new event. And here we're going to have the authorization and then we're gonna copy the token. So this is gonna be the token. And then we're gonna send the request. And here you can see that for the subscription, we have a new event locked here, which in this case, it contains the link data as well as the person who created this link. And then here you can see the ID is 11. And if we were to send another request, you can see that we get another data. Now we're going to add a voting feature to our application. So here inside of the schema.prisma, what we have so far is we have the link model and the user model. And the relation is that we can have multiple links for, for a, each user, right? So user can have multiple links, but each link can only have one user. And then in this case, what we're gonna do is we're going to make some modifications. We're going to introduce a third model here. So we're going to add the votes. So basically what it means is that user can be able to vote a link and you can see that for the vote model, we basically have a one-to-one -one relationship. Um, so basically it's that one vote can only have one link and one user, which must be unique. So it cannot have the same link and the same user in the vote table. And you can see here that for each, uh, and then for each link, we can have many votes. And then for each user, we can have many votes as well. So now what we can do is we're going to migrate our database schema with the npx prisma migrate command. So we're going to migrate our database and also going to apply the changes and update our Prisma client. So we're going to use the MPX Prisma generate, which will basically update our Prisma client API. So now we're going to go to our mutation. So now instead of the schema.graphql, what we're gonna do is we're going to add additional field, which is in this case, vote. So basically we pass the link and this will basically return us a new vote. And the way how it works is that when we send the request, we're going to get the user ID from the token and then we're going to take the link ID from the argument and we're gonna create a new vote data record inside of the vote table. And then here we're going to add a new type called vote 
which in this case has an ID, link, and a user. And for link, we're going to have the ability to query all the votes that we have for each link. And then inside of our mutation.js, we have created a function called vote. And in this case, we're basically going to get the user ID from the context. And the user ID from the context, we can be able to find that in the index.js, which I have already mentioned in the past. So here you can see for the user ID, uh, we're basically going to get the JPT token from the headers. And then we're going to uh, extract the user ID from the token. And then we're going to take the user ID and the link ID from the arguments. If there's already a vote that contains the same value, if it does, then we're going to throw an error. If not, then we're going to create the vote and then basically publish this event to all the subscriber who subscribe to this event. And then we're going to return this new vote back to the response. And then we're going to add the vote to the export. And then just like before, we're going to account for the new relations in the GraphQL schema. So inside of the link, uh, in this case, we're going to add the votes. In this case, we're going to add the votes so that when we try to query for the votes in the link, we're going to get all the votes for each link. And then export this. And then inside of the resolvers, we're going to create a vote.js. In this case, whenever we're trying to query for the vote, we're going to get all the information for the link and the user for each vote. And then inside of the resolvers, of course, we're going to import this. So it's going to be vote and then it's from the vote.js. And now our GraphQL API accepts our vote mutations. And of course, we also need to subscribe to new votes that are getting added. So inside of the schema.graphql, we're going to add uh, the new vote field inside of the subscription. We're also going to add the new vote and export it here which in this case, like I mentioned before, uh, in this case, we're going to listen for a new vote event identifier. And every time when this uh, event get triggered, we're, this is how we're going to resolve it. We're going to take the payload and return this to the response and publish that to all the subscribers who subscribe to this event. All right, so now what we can do is we can be able to test it inside of our GraphQL API. So let's go into start our server again. And then we go navigate to our playground. So what we're going to do now is we're going to subscribe for the new vote and it's going to get us the ID of the vote as well as the link and the user. So first let's subscribe to that. And then what we're going to do first is we're going to create the post and this is the post ID that uh, so far we don't have any new vote. So we're going to open a new tab and going to pass the ID and add a vote to that. Uh, and we're expecting the link and the user who create this vote. So let's try to run this. And then if we were to go back to our subscription, you can see that we have a new data just got published. 